Google Translate is a completely free translation app and website from Google, and it supports up to 243 different languages. And you could go to their website at translate.google.com to use it completely for free. Now, they also do have apps. So the Google Translate app is available for Android, 1 billion downloads, and it's also available for the iPhone. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use it on the website because you could just use it on your phone. Just go to translate.google.com and use it there. Now, they recently added a lot more useful options to this Google Translate website. So before you only had the text option and document option, but they also added images where you could translate the text on an image and even an entire website, which is really useful. So I'll show you exactly how this works. We'll start with text here. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna paste any text in any language and leave it on detect. This will recognize the language by default. You don't have to choose the starting language here. So I'll just go to my notes here and I'm just gonna copy a little bit of text over here. So if you select some text, go to edit and copy and then come back to Google Translate and you could go to edit and you could go ahead and paste it. You could always use the keyboard shortcut, Command V to paste or Control V to paste if you're on a PC. And if you look on the right side, here is the translation. So it detected that my original text is in English, and then I could choose a language to translate to, and here are some options. And if I click this dropdown, these are all the different languages that I could choose from. So if I choose Italian right here, in real time, it's gonna translate this English text into Italian for me. Once the translation is complete, I could do a couple of things. One is I could listen to it out loud to see what it sounds like. Let me just preview this for you. Una biglia viene messa in un bicchiere di vetro. Okay. The next thing you could do is you could also copy it. So this will copy the text. So if you want to save it in a different document, you just copy it from here. This is how you could give it a rating. This is going to train Google to improve. And if you want to share it from here, if you click this, you could share it via email or on x.com, the old Twitter platform. If you wanna save any of your translation, just save it like this with the star and all your saved translations, if you click the star right here, they're all gonna appear here on this right column. I'm gonna close that for now. Your history too will appear over here as you start using this, as long as you're logged into your Google account. Now you could always press this option right here. This is gonna swap it. So it's gonna put the translated language here on the left side. And then I could translate this Italian now to Spanish, for example, on the right side. So the swapping option just flips your output translation as your input translation over here. And you also have this visual keyboard option depending on the language you're choosing. So if I change this to English and click on this keyboard, I could always type in text using this keyboard as well. Not very handy unless you need it for accessibility reasons. Otherwise you could just type over here. You don't always have to paste any text. You could just type text this way and it's going to give you the translation on the right side and you have this little microphone here so you could actually translate voice which is really handy so if you press this it's going to listen to your voice through your computer's microphone and whatever you say is going to be read out loud right now my computer is a little further away so it can't hear me but that is a useful option okay let me show you this image option which is really interesting this is kind of a newer option here so you could drag an image right here and if I drag and drop an image here, let me just show you the original. So this is what I added. And then it translated it to Italian. If I translate it to Spanish, again, this is my input. This is the translated output. I could copy the text only from this image right here. And I could download the translation over here too. So this is using more generative AI tools that could look inside of an image and see the text and translate it for you. So a really great option here from Google. For the document option, you could drag an entire document over here. It's gonna support a ton of different documents. Just to name a few, you could do Word documents, you could do PDFs, PowerPoints, and Excel documents, and you could drag and drop it here or browse from your computer. I'll do one as a Word doc. And if I press translate right here, it's gonna take this Word doc, it's gonna translate it to whatever language I have. So in this case, it detected the input, which was English, and it translated it to Italian for me. So if I download the Italian version, I could go ahead and open it up right here after it's been downloaded to my computer. And here is that Word document translated in Italian and it's downloaded again as a Word doc on my computer because that's what I inputted as a Word doc. I'll show you if I choose Spanish right here, I could press translate again. It's gonna take this English version again. If I press download, it's gonna download it to my computer. 
And here's the Spanish version of the same exact document. Let's go to the website option. This is the last option they've added. They may add more here in the future. When I first recorded this again, they only had text and documents, but with some AI tools, they're adding more options for you. So if I type in a website, you could type any website URL here and then just press translate. It's gonna open up that website and you could see right there, it detected that this was in English and it changed it to Italian, but I have all these options now that I could change it to. So in this case, let's try German. I'll choose this German option. You can see it translated in real time. Now it's not translating things inside of images, it looks like, but it is translating any other text that appears over here, but not what's inside of actual images. But very, very useful, very quick translation over here to change it from one language to another. And that's everything you need to know about using Google Translate. I hope you found this useful. I'll see you next time.